Hey, how's it going? This is how I DIY resurface small parts. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet. I just finished up a video where I ported my oil pump and if you're not careful when you do your pump, you can, you know, bump the grinder or, you know, Carbides like to, you know, run off and are sanding roll, same thing, stones. You always end up hitting a little bit where you don't you don't intend to. And if you don't know, oil pumps don't use a gasket to seal. They seal, you know, flat surface to flat surface. So if you if you have any marks in your oil pump, you need to resurface it so it will seal and not leak. Now of course, you can take it to a machine shop and have them do it, but this way is, is, is simple and easy and almost anyone can do it. I mean, all you need is a thick piece of glass, like this mirror I have here, which has been used plenty, <laughs> some sandpaper, you know, various grits depending on how bad you mess up. You know, I have, sometimes I've had to start with, you know, 40 grit and work my way up to 220 grit. I got, you know, five, six, six steps right here. Anyways, I fortunately did not mess up, but I still found the surface to be less than ideal. I mean, here's the pump, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but the light spots are where I already ran it on the sandpaper, the 220, just roll, roll around real quick once. And the dark spots are where, you know, it didn't get, so... That surface is not flat. If you look at this pump over here, you can see the surface finish is much nicer. So my goal is to improve the pump surface so it seals a little better. And to do that, I'm going to take the pump and run it on my 220, like so. The camera didn't record that scene. The pump is done. So I'm just going to recreate it. Pretend this construction paper is sandpaper. Okay, this time I'm positive I got the camera on. I went ahead and put some gloves on because when I finished the pump up, I oiled it up so it wouldn't rust. And the clip I'm recreating is where I surface this end. And as you can see, pretty obviously that it's heavier on this side, so you want to put more pressure on this end to even out the material removal. And basically what I did was, you know, sanded it in a circular motion with, you know, moderate pressure. And every so often I would check my progress to make sure it was removing material evenly. Now, some of the defects are harder to see, so once in a while I'll do a back and forth motion, you know, or side to side, so that I have a nice, you know, side to side or back and forth, you know, sand pattern and I can see the defects easier because some of them are some of them go with the pattern you're sanding so just FYI of course when I did this smaller end I just used 220 grit and finished up I think with a thousand grit but for the larger ends I started at a lower grit I think I went down to 60 or 80 and so on I'll go into more of that later Okay, here's what we got so far. Still got a bit to go, but you can see the lighter spots getting a little lighter. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, all done with the pump mount end. But I also forgot I, I had some 1,000 grit. So I decided to finish it up that with that real quick. And it's not very a big piece, so, you know, I just went circles and I decided to go back and forth just to finish it up because it gave it a little more nicer, cleaner look. I think it turned out nice. It's better than it was. You can be the judge. Okay. Let me finish up one more part. And we'll wrap this up. The cover will be a little bit easier because, of course, it's not lopsided like the main body of the pump. 
So, once again, I'm just going to work it in circles. And here's a quick tip. When you load your paper up, and you will with these finer grits, I like to brush them off. You know, shake them out, whatever you got to do. Make the paper last longer. Now let me get to it, and I'll show you the results. Quick progress shot of the cover. You can really start to see the machining marks now. Well, the high and low spots. So back at it. By the way, I wanted this for several hours because I warped apart when I welded it. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Four hours later. Done. Done at last. But before I show you the results, I want to mention something before I forget bring it up. When you surface the housing end of the oil pump, there are gears that go in here. And you have to put the cover on and you gotta have enough room for those gears to move. So just be aware of that. Some pumps have more clearance than others. And usually that's one thing people check is they check the clearance and they will surface the cover to sorry surface the pump to you know, reduce that tolerance. Make it you know, a little tighter if they need to be. But you still need to check it to make sure it's not too tight. Okay, so also I want to mention, don't be afraid to go down in grits. You know, you might start off with one grit and uncover some, a few flaws that you have to go back a few grits and even maybe back and forth a few times until you finally get those flaws and whatnot. Now, I didn't get every flaw, but I, I, this, is, this is all I'm doing. It's good enough. Good enough for a cheap pump. It worked. It was better than it was. So, <laughs> okay. Here's the pump housing. By the way, that one was the melling. You can see for yourself the difference. This melling will have to be, you know, cleaned up a little bit. Well, it doesn't have to be, but it could be cleaned up a little bit. So, you be the judge. There they are. Moving on. Now the cover has a, a, a big appearance of those the flaws I mentioned. You can see right here, not my, my groove I made, but there's quite a bit of those circular machining marks still right there. All I care about is the perimeter and where it's going to seal on the pump housing. That's fine. It's much better than it was. Good enough. Not perfect, but good enough. And just for your naysayers, I know you couldn't see the straight edge, so let's try this again. This is a precision straight edge. Star it. There's the part number. I'll include it, of course, in the description. That's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Keep it real.